Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can delete your previous WordPress install website and install a new one through your cPanel. For that log into your cPanel, now click on the file manager, open the new tab and uh, you'll find a file manager here in the files option and one more option is the uh, database option. Click on MySQL database and open the new tab and it's like in the file manager you need to search for the domain for which you want to delete your complete file uh, I'll go for gomahamaya.com that is inside the uh, public underscore html so I'll double click on that now once you are inside the public html click on setting and there you need to uh, select home directory and there select for the domain we have number of domains and uh, just below that you have one option so hidden files click on that and click save hidden file uh, you need it is necessary that you need to show all the hidden files before deleting everything now click anywhere in the option like I have clicked one place and click select all and now before one more suggestion I have to give uh, I, I'll suggest you to make a backup of your complete databases before deleting any of the content so for that one description uh, video is there inside the description links watch that tutorial then come back again now click on delete uh, you can send it to trash if you want I'll skip the trash because I don't need I'll click confirm now all the files from that public html is deleted and now public html is empty if anything is there inside public html uh, you'll get an error message and now we'll move on to mysql databases inside mysql databases you'll find two databases and two users so how to distinguish that which we uh, which database belongs to your website for that you need to go to a cpanel you need to search for the php my admin click on that open a new tab click on this positive icon and there you have two base databases click on any one of these i'll click on first one and here you need to click on the options wp options click on that and here you will see site url and it is gomahamaya.com that that one we want to delete now and next one more is there click on uh, gomahamaya gomahama wordpress 4 and there you will see uh, wp options click on that and you will see the url as avidmedicare.com so we need to delete for the gomahamaya rahul so now uh, scroll down and you'll see uh, current database is Rahul this database Rahul has to be deleted to delete everything from gomahamaya.com so, so click on delete click delete go back next scroll down and one more option is current users go to gomahamaya.com Rahul here also delete this is current user there are two different different things this is database and this is current users so I'll delete currency user Rahul delete user Rahul and everything related to gomahamaya.com has been deleted we'll go back now we'll go to our cPanel and there you need to find a uh, WordPress installation or one click installation or quick installation click on that and here in this option you need to select a domain I'll go for gomahamaya.com and don't select any directory because or else this will going to this theme is going to install inside gomahamaya.com slash directory uh, like xy you'll write then your uh, home page will be like gomahamaya.com slash directory name so leave it like this and click next write your blog title xyz I'll write something and name admin I'll write Rahul and next I'll go for first name as Rahul and next last name as Kumar and next uh, uh, admin email ID will be right admin email ID click uh, automatically create a new database and click I accept the terms and condition click install bingo guys you have installed wordpress in your website now wait for uh, we'll change this password because this password is automatically generated we we need to change it we, uh, we'll go to gomahamaya.com slash wp admin and there we have uh, username rahul and we need to copy this password copy that and uh, type there rahul and password is there this password i have copied and paste click on login and click no i don't need help scroll down and you'll find users click on all users 
and scroll down click on edit this user only one user is there rahul click on that as here you'll find his name username you can change first name also change last name or whatever you want you can change you can change even email id you can change his profile photo and there's one of one more option is there account management in the account management we have option of new password click on generate password and this password you got forget this password and write your own password like i'll go for c panel at the rate one two three and now my password is medium click on update you can make uh, try to make this password more secure and uh, more complicated and make sure you should remember it click on update thanks for watching my and don't forget to subscribe my channel